especially with... All right, fight fans, buckle up, because we're diving into the electrifying journey of American video blogger turned boxer Jake Paul. Since stepping into the professional ring in 2020, he's emerged as one of the most formidable knockout artists out there. Fast forward to March 2024, after dominating his compatriot Ryan Borland and sealing the deal for a showdown with none other than Mike Tyson. Mike! <laughs> I've wanted to knock you the fuck out. Let's do it, Jakey! It's safe to say Paul's strategy is paying off big time. With each opponent he dismantles, he's edging closer to his ultimate goal, to snatch that world champion title in the light heavyweight division and take on the biggest names in the game. And he's dead set on making it happen. Now, four years down the line, let's revisit the destructive force that is Jake Paul, also known as the problem child. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more. And with that, let's get started. All right, picture this. It's 2020 and Jake Paul steps into the ring for his pro debut against Anison Gibb. They clash on January 30th in Miami, Florida. Not trained as a professional oh. boxer. Oh. Jake wasted no time, landing heavy shots from the get-go. Oh. And before you could even blink, he sealed the deal with a technical knockout in the very first round. Beautiful right hand. He's hurt. And oh. now he's down again. And that is it. Jake Paul with a first round in. Jake Paul with a first round destruction. On November 28th, Jake Paul steps back into the ring for a showdown with none other than basketball star Nate Robinson. This wasn't just any fight, folks. It was the co-main event to the exhibition match between legends Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. at the iconic Staples Center in Los Angeles, California. Floyd Mayweather, how do you like him? They protect yourself at all times, ain't that what they say? You bet you. Oh! Jake Paul caught Nate Robinson. That can control a lot of the, the nerves in your body, right? Yeah, 100%. Now here's where it gets interesting. In just the second round, Jake Paul unleashes a devastating knockout blow that sends Nate Robinson crashing to the canvas. Mm. Oh, oh my God! In a night filled with legends, Jake Paul showed the world once again why he's a force to be reckoned with in the ring. All right, listen up, folks. Let's rewind to 2021. Jake Paul and Ben Askren, after some social media sparring, finally face off in the ring at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Vince Vaughn body. He did say that Ben Askren, Paul wastes no time securing a technical knockout victory in the very first round. All right, let's dive into the wild world of Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley. So after the Paul versus Askren showdown, things got spicy backstage. Jake and his cornerman, the American pro boxer Julian Love, found themselves in a heated confrontation with none other than former UFC welterweight champion Tyron Woodley. On August 29th, Paul fought Woodley at the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio, and defeated him via split decision. Seven rounds. That's where we want for boxer, but you know, Jake Paul going to the body count upstairs and 
with one judge scoring the fight 77-75 for Woodley, while the other two judges scored it 77-75 and 78-74 in favor of Paul. Post-fight, Woodley's craving a rematch, and Jake, being Jake, throws in a wild offer. A rematch if Woodley gets I love Jake Paul tattooed on his body. Now that's next level negotiation, my friends. Given what we've seen this year, it's given him a very good effort, even if they're both just throwing so, so. to the judges. And still undefeated, the problem child, Jake Paul. Now we fast forward to December, originally set to face Tommy Fury. Jake's opponent changes to none other than Tyron Woodley for the rematch. This time around, it ends with a knockout in the sixth round. Lights out. And he has done it from time to time. Just haven't been... Oh. Oh. After the bout, Paul was awarded the ESPN Ringside Award for Knockout of the Year over his victory on Woodley. All right, folks, let's talk Jake Paul's roller coaster ride in 2022. First up, he's set to square off against Tommy Fury on August 6. But guess what? Tommy pulls out again, this time citing travel issues. Next, on July 7th, Paul's got a new opponent lined up, Haseem Rahman Jr. The hype's building, but alas, it's not meant to be. Rahman's got weight issues, and the whole event gets scrapped on July 30. After the cancellation, it was announced that Paul would be facing former UFC champion Anderson Silva on October 29th. There's the left hand. There we see that. That went around that way. Oh, At the Desert Diamond Arena in Glendale, Arizona, Paul defeated Silva via unanimous decision with the judges scoring the bout 78-73, 78-73, and 77-74 in favor of Paul. Oh, Another victory in the books for the problem child. That's it, and give it up for both. In the wild world of combat sports, after the Tommy Fury saga, talks swirled around a Jake Paul versus KSI clash at Wembley Stadium in August. However, shockingly, Paul swerved out of the ring choosing the rugged Nate Diaz as his new adversary. The spotlight shifted to Paul versus Diaz, set for August 5 at Dallas's American Airlines Center. Initially locked for eight rounds, the stakes rose to a gripping 10. Under the arena lights, Paul showcased his prowess claiming victory with a resounding unanimous decision. The judges' cards all tilted at 98-91, 98-91, and 97-92, crowned Paul the Conqueror, signaling more thrilling battles on the horizon. I know that I'm meant to be here and I did exactly what I said I was going to do, which is when I lost, I came back and got better and showed the world how to lose on the biggest stage and come back and then win on the biggest stage. And it just goes to show for anyone out there that's losing. It may be a boxing match or maybe in life. Take the L on the chin, get up the next day and, and get back and Listen don't to, stop. 
The excitement kicked into high gear when it was revealed on October 16th that Paul would be stepping back into the squared circle. His opponent is none other than American professional boxer Andre August, boasting an impressive record of 10 wins, one loss, and one draw. But here's the twist, folks. Unlike his previous headline bouts, this one won't be on pay-per-view. That's right, Paul's breaking new ground here. He's stepping into the ring not just for business, but to hone his skills and gain invaluable experience. As Paul himself puts it, so far, my entire boxing career has been on PPV, but now it's about more than business. Now I want to build my experience in the ring, and what a fight it was. Paul didn't waste any time, delivering a thunderous knockout to August in the very first round. On December 21st, 2023, it was dropped that Paul's stepping into the ring once more. And check this out, folks. On January 30, 2024, Paul's dance partner was revealed, none other than American pro boxer Ryan Borland, boasting a record of 17 wins and two losses. The weight division, eight rounds. But here's where it gets wild. Paul wasted no time delivering a technical knockout to Borland in the very first round. All right, folks, buckle up for this one. On March 7th, 2024, the bombshell dropped that Paul's stepping into the big leagues, taking on none other than the former undisputed heavyweight champ Mike Tyson on July 20th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. And guess what? You can catch all the action right on Netflix. This bout marks Paul's heavyweight debut. And let me tell you, it's going to be one for the books. Will Paul prove himself against one of the most legendary figures in boxing history? Or will Tyson remind everyone why he's still considered one of the greatest of all time? Stay tuned, because come July 20th, the world will be watching as these two warriors step into the ring for what promises to be an epic showdown.